You learn a lot of lessons in motherhood. You can never have enough paper towels. Ziploc baggies are not just for sandwiches. Pitocin is the devil drug, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You learn to never get comfortable, because just when you start to get all confident and relaxed and in an I got this kind of way, Murphy's Law always comes into play. I'm pretty sure that Murphy was a mother. <laughs> Each child of mine has managed to humble me multiple times. Multiple times. But somehow, I seem to have had the most humbling experiences, not with my firstborn, but with my thirdborn. My third child has flooded the family room from above when she left the bathroom faucet running. She has painted her whole body in vibrant stripes of nail polish so that she could be a tiger more than once. <laughs> I can clearly recall my youngest knocking me down from my parenting high horse a few years ago. She bounced into the kitchen with the energy that only a five-year-old can exhibit and asked me, Mommy, how do I look? Clad in leftover Mardi Gras beads and mismatched socks, she peered up at me from underneath her mop of wispy blonde hair. Only it's not wispy anymore. It's wet. Oh, you look lovely, Corinne. Did you slick down your hair with water? But she's already danced away in a swirl of her flowing hippie skirt, singing a Taylor Swift song with surprising accuracy. I returned to my coffee and immersed myself in emails until a truly pleasing aroma overtook me. I turned to discover that the odor was emanating from Corinne, who had flitted back into the room to her art desk behind me. Wow, you smell really good. Did you use soap on your hair? I am answered with a blank stare. I sniff her head. She smells familiar, but I can't quite place the scent. Corinne, what did you place on your hair? I don't remember, Mommy. <laughs> Just water, mommy. Hmm, mm-hmm. Knowing my daughter and her inability to refrain from sampling my perfumes, soaps, and hair goop, I swept my hand through her locks. It felt oily. <sighs> Did you put soap on your hair? You smell like fruit. You smell really, really fruity. I didn't, mommy, I promise. I didn't put soap on my hair. Her enormous eyes are indignant. Sighing heavily, I grudgingly pulled myself away from my beloved computer, and we trudged into the kitchen. I was fairly positive that she had put the new dish soap, which smells like red grapefruit in her hair and just didn't wash it all out. Not that I condone using dish soap on your head, but hey, if my kid is going to voluntarily wash her hair, I'm not going to complain. And the dish soap did smell divine, so I kind of understood it. I rinsed her hair out several times, and we talked at length about being honest and truthful and about being sure to properly rinse soap out after we shampoo. She continued to insist that she did not put soap on her hair, and I continued to roll my eyes. I rubbed her, hair, her head clean with a fairly clean kitchen towel and sent her off to play while bombarding the back of her head with reminders to tell the truth. Still, that scent baffled me. After inspection, I knew that the aroma was not the kitchen dish soap, but it was so familiar deciding that it may just be one of those parenting mysteries that does not reveal itself. I began to clean up in preparation for company coming to visit. Later that night, during a conversation with my girlfriend, I noticed that Corinne's hair still looks a little wet. I began to describe the afternoon to my friend, and I laughed as I said, and her hair was oily. I mean, what could she possibly have gotten into? <laughs> oh, God. I thumped up the stairs to our bedroom and flung open the door. There, upon our bedroom dresser, is the answer to the mystery. The bottle. The bottle that contained the oil with an aroma that smelled so pleasant and was so familiar, but was so difficult to place when it arose from my five-year-old's head. <laughs> the bottle with a picture of people in a very amorous position. Yes, my kindergartner had bathed her head in our scented personal massage oil. <laughs> See, just when you think you've got this motherhood gig down pat, the universe will smack you down to size and pour a quart of kinky oil in, in your kindergartner's head. 